Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Rash with Gaurav, where we break down complex AI and tech into bite-sized, practical knowledge. In today's video, we're diving into one of the most powerful ways to make large language models smarter and more grounded in real-world data, RAG, or retrieval augmented generation. If you've ever wondered how to make an LLM answer, domain-specific questions, site sources, or work with private data, RAG is the magic you're looking for. At its core, RAG is a technique that combines two components. Retrieval, pulling relevant information from a knowledge base. Generation, using a language model to generate responses using that retrieved data. Instead of expecting the model to know everything, we connect it to an external memory like a database or document store so it can fetch relevant context on demand. Think of RAG as giving your AI a dynamic memory, like Google search for your brain. LLMs are limited by training data and context window. RAG solves hallucinations by grounding answers in actual data. You can work with private or domain-specific knowledge. Avoids retraining large models every time data changes. Example, you work in a legal firm and you want ChatGPT to answer legal queries only based on your firm's documents, that's where RAG comes in. RAG has three key components. One, document ingestion or chunking. Two, embedding and indexing. Three, retrieval and augmentation. Chunking, split PDFs, docs, or HTMLs into manageable text chunks. Embedding, convert chunks into vectors using models like OpenAI, BGE, or instructor. Indexing, store them in vector databases like Face, VV8, or Pinecone. Retrieval, on a query, fetch top case similar chunks. Generation, feed them into an LLM to generate an answer. Here are some popular tools to implement RAG. Langchain, modular components, integrates with OpenAI, Face, Pinecone, Chroma. Great for building pipelines. Next is Llama Index, formerly GPT Index, index-based abstraction over documents. Good for hierarchical document-heavy retrieval. Another one is Haystack by DeepSet. Enterprise-grade, powerful pipelines, document stores, REST API-ready. Another option is Ragas for evils, evaluation metrics for RAG systems. Another one which we will prefer for our next working sessions will be Olama plus local embedding tools. Great for local and offline RAG systems with Llama 3, Mistral, etc. Let's look at some practical use cases of RAG. 1. Internal knowledge bots. A bot trained on your company's wikis, policies, and handbooks. 2. Legal medical QA systems. Build a HIPAA-compliant medical assistant using private patient records. 3. Developer assistance. Docs aware bots like GitHub Copilot Chat or internal API agents. 4. Research agents. AI that finds papers, summarize, and answers questions using academic PDFs. 5. Customer support. FAQ bots powered by past tickets and help docs. Retrieval augmented generation, RAG, is powerful but it comes with several limitations and challenges that developers and researchers need to consider when designing RAG-based systems. 1. Retrieval quality is critical. If the retriever fails to fetch relevant documents, the generator can't produce accurate responses. Poor chunking or bad embeddings result in irrelevant context, leading to hallucinations or confusion. Example, if your retriever pulls outdated or unrelated data, the LLM might confidently generate incorrect information. 2. Chunking strategy can make or break it. Splitting documents into too small chunks can lose context. Too large chunks may be truncated or exceed the context window of the LLM. Balancing between chunk granularity and semantic completeness is tricky. 3. Token limit context window constraints. LLMs have a max input size. Example, 4K, 128K tokens. If too many documents are retrieved, they might be truncated. 
important context may get left out due to input length limits. 4. Latency and performance overhead. Rag pipelines involve multiple steps. Retrieval, embedding lookup, generation. More components is equal to higher latency and greater infra complexity. Especially an issue in real-time systems or low-latency environments. 5. No native source attribution. Unless manually added, RAG responses don't always attribute sources or cite documents. Makes it harder to verify or audit generated responses. Solution? Custom prompts like Answer based on the context and list the source document name at the end. 6. Data freshness and index maintenance. Vector databases need to be updated when documents change. Embeddings might become stale if new knowledge is added, requiring re-indexing. RAG is the bridge between large language models and your data. Whether you're building a research assistant, internal bot, or a custom AI app, RAG gives you control, relevance, and context. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what kind of RAG-based app would you like to build. And don't forget to check the description for links to the whole AI playlist. In our upcoming videos, we will be implementing RAG using one of the techniques we saw today. So subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified. Do watch other videos we have in the AI playlist. Till then, have a good one.